everyone welcome to the update of 15th of july before i start with the analysis a quick update geo financial has just released their results technically the profit has nearly doubled around 350 crores but this is a 225000 crore company now back to it which kick started the results tcs hcl results are out tcs has started correcting was down half percent today HCL I mentioned on Friday also markets will like the results though quarter on quarter numbers are low so market started the day with celebrations however sanity returned soon after the stock was still up half a percent but look at where it went 1640 and look at where it closed around 1560 nearly a 80 rupee fall this is nearly a 6 7% kind of fall from the top of the day infosys probably the writing is already on the wall it has in anticipation already started going down 0.2% only but downward trend now nifty was reasonably stable started gap up then went down a bit then went into a range then shot up suddenly and gradually towards end of the day it cooled down a bit there were few incidences where a lot of stocks went up suddenly i'll talk about it when we come to the graphs bank nifty was more dramatic the expiry will be tomorrow because wednesday is a holiday these are the big spikes i was talking about these are 5 minute candles tall spikes look at this candle total false alarm this is where a lot of stop losses would have got hit and suddenly came back again sbi only wants to go north the target clearly is 900 before that the sbi bulls will not pause perhaps it came close to 890 today 887.5 but nearly up whole day nearly up above the moving day average for the whole day this is where i got caught last week and i took a lot of short positions thinking that sbi will correct so once you burn your fingers you are double cautious so i didn't short sbi at all in fact i went long and made a little money not much now a lot of results today tomorrow is the big one bajaj auto followed by asian paints on wednesday which will be a stock market holiday and then the big two results for it infosys persistent friday ultra tech wipro jsw steel saturday is the big one hdfc now bajaj auto if you see the annual graph the stock has run up 45% already so a lot of good news is already priced in market needs slightest of the trigger to take the stock up right now but okay news average news accepted news expected news all of them will take the stock down only so time to trade with caution not just with bajaj auto but most stocks 36 companies are releasing their results adani group is eyeing the jp cements company the cement wars are getting bigger and bigger ultimately like jio and airtel there will be two companies only ultra tech eo smith has acquired huls purit brand of water filters the reason i have mentioned this news is the mna season has started big now lot of companies have cash on their balance sheet now eo smith is an american company so germany is done selling bitcoins finally all the billions of worth of bitcoins is out of the system so hopefully bitcoin investor will heave a sigh of relief bitcoin is already up 2.76% now nifty was up 0.4% today bank nifty nearly 0.35% nifty it was down because tcs infosys both were down fii is bought a lot the monthly figure is getting close to 13000 crore this is not the complete picture dii sold a bit nifty energy was up 1% today this was a rocking sector today both oil and power nifty 50 was rocking today nearly up 1% noticeable stock was sbi 2.75% up reliance applied for a sick leave everyone i think was tired by the wedding celebrations over the weekend hdfc bank probably was with reliance only 0.05% so was lnt nasdaq pre opening prices are looking good 0.6% up so is snp nvidia and apple are having a good week 3 days up continuously now i want to share a very interesting fact most of you would know that there was a firing done on donald trump as soon as that was done a new cryptocurrency was launched with a donald trump image in between that went up 2 lakh percent in about 4 hours of launch i don't know what happened after that this will get more and more interesting this will impact us markets this will eventually impact indian markets also now this is why i was saying markets are getting nervous reliance choppy this is not a small range 3170 to 3210 nearly a 40 pay point range for reliance icici bank was up down whole day this also is a range between 1225 and 1240 nearly 2% range same with infosys TCS was down only, but look at HDFC Bank. It's literally like an ocean. 
totally undecided where to go. The only stock who is really sure where it wants to go is SBI. It wants to go to 900 first and then perhaps the moon. ITC sudden up, then a cliff, then a bit of profit booking. I mentioned this ITC is looking really, really strong. HUL totally choppy all over the place. ATL choppy all over the place. Now, Bank Nifty, there were several coincidences. One was around this time. Nearly all banks went up at this particular time. This time it included PSU banks also, Union Bank. There were some falls also similarly. Top two banks were down. SBI held the sector together along with Kotak. Geo went up, especially towards the end, last two minutes. Overall, the sector was up half percent. Defense pack, the darling sector of the market is suddenly looking a bit jittery. Everything was looking really, really weak. Volumes were low, but no major falls either. Now, what this is indicating is from buy on dips, this may become a market which is sell on every rise. Metals, metals, the top three stocks were really, really weak. Vedanta was up, so was Hindalco. TCS Infosys were both really weak. Zomato only wants to go up. It is suddenly at 230 now. While this is going up, the P is going up also. If the results don't meet the expectations, then this 229 may lose a 50 or a 100 number from the stock price. The volumes of the sector were good, but the stocks whose results are upcoming, they are looking weak already. Tech Mahindra, Wipro, Infosys, Persistent. Energy sector was awesome today. 1% up for the power pack. 1% up for the oil companies. That is despite Reliance being on a continued leap. Nearly all stocks were looking very good. Volumes for NTPC were good. The oil pack had fantastic volumes. Oil India was up today also 4%. It came down a bit from the peak. But today ONGC joined the rally 5% up. There is a good accumulation of stocks in the 80 to 100% zone here. Literally no weakness except the Adani pack, Adani energy and Adani power a little, Adani green. But the contribution made to the indices most was by oil and gas, automobile, banking, insurance. Aerospace and defense, chemicals, textiles were attempting to pull down the sector most. Market breadth was good, 27 sectors were up. Automobiles up 1%, GMDC was up 1%, it got one of the three coal mines that were auctioned. Construction and engineering pack, I expected to be strong, however it is looking a bit jittery ahead of the budget. Cement pack, today Ultra Tech was up 2%, the volumes are getting bigger in this sector. Adani Enterprise was up a percent today, DMART up 1% on huge volumes. Consumption pack, Godfrey Phillips was up 17%, that's the second largest cigarette company in the country. ITC also, though percentage change is not reflecting as very high, but still that was up. Home building and construction supplies, I did a bit of buying here, I'll talk about it, but this sector was bleeding today. Insurance sector is looking good, LIC up, SBI up, HDFC up, both ICIC companies up. Maybe there is some anticipation of some good news for the sector in the budget. Investment banking was looking good today, HDFC, Nippon both were up, Siemens and ABB both were up, yeah. natural gas utilities. The entire gas pack was up and up a lot, 2% up for the sector. Oil and gas related equipment and services was up as well. Petronet, LNG, Aegis, Logistics, both were up. Overall, all the oil companies in some ways are looking fantastic right now. The smaller companies in the consumption pack were looking really good, but the sector did not go anywhere because HUL was down a little. So was Godrej. Pharma is looking good right now. Real estate, the top companies did pretty well. Telecom Bharti up a bit, Vodafone up 4%. I tried to buy a bit of Vodafone today, but it went up continuously. So I couldn't. Railways companies also did not do too well today. IRFC, IRCTC, RVNL, all of them were down. Nifty 50, 16 stocks down, 34 up. Fantastic market breadth. ONGC up most 5%, followed by SBI Life, Shriram Finance. What was down most? LTI Mindtree, Asian Paints, Grasim. Next 50 also 14 stocks down, 36 up. Canara Bank, Gale, Bank of Baroda, Shiram Finance, Zomato were up most. Berger, PI Industries, Hevels, PNG, Muthut Finance were down most. PSU banks were rocking today. My portfolio, a lot of changes. I had to actually draw two columns. So I bought Bank of Baroda. PSU banks are looking strong and they have been weak for a while. So I expect PSU banks to rally a bit. I'm not expecting any recapitalization. I bought Chennai Petro. I exchanged it with MRPL. So I sold off MRPL. It was going nowhere. 
on Friday also I had said that it will make losses only. So I sold it at a loss and I bought Chennai Pent Petro instead. I bought ONGC for that I sold oil. So oil had run up a lot, decent profit on the table. IRFC I sold and it went down a lot. So I bought same quantity. I added to my LNT positions. This is long term portfolio. Today I bought MRF, Apollo Tire, Balakrishna Industries. So auto boom I am joining indirectly in some ways. Tire companies the rubber prices were up a lot in the last few months but they have cooled down and they are stabilizing at support zones. So hopefully that will lead to better margins in the industry in the quarters to come. I also bought Estrel Pipes which is among the bigger players in the pipe industry for construction. I also bought Supreme Industries. These are competitors but Supreme does a lot more. Supreme is sort of a monopoly, a very large company. Polycab among the larger players in home wiring. I also bought BSE. I already have NSE in my portfolio. But for some reason, SAB is not giving approval for NSE to go ahead with the IPO. Also BSE, I think last or last to last year, Zeroda bought a 5% stake. Since then, BSE has improved a lot. The pricing of BSE has become a lot more competitive. And I believe BSC is now 20% the volumes of NSC. So BSC may get stronger in my opinion. Now I ran out of patience. Shiram Finance was up a bit. I sold it in losses. I bought mass financials a little quantity last week to average down. It was in profit. So I sold it. I still have more holdings there. But those are still in losses. I exited BEL in my trading portfolio. I sold a part of BEL in my investment portfolio long term. I sold off BDL in very little profit. I wanted to create some cash. I sold a part of RVNL from the long term portfolio. I sold HL also from the long term portfolio. Like I exited IT, I am reducing on my defense exposure. I might take it down to zero also. The sector is good. However, the valuations will catch up in a month, in three months, in six months, whatever time frame. So long term investment wise, I don't think it is the right time in my books. Trading calendar, good green day today also in both options and CNC. In terms of options, I forgot that Wednesday was a holiday on account of Muharram. So I took some positions for the Thursday expiry with an expectation of breaching 25,000. But as soon as I realized that Wednesday is a holiday, I got off. That was a loss of about a thousand rupees. I have taken some more positions for 25th July expiry. Let me show that. So idea is that Nifty will breach 24,800. Now 24,570 which is nearly the current levels. There will be loss. So idea is to benefit a bit from the euphoria which is going on in the market. The next one is a short position in Bank Nifty. This is where I benefited from the spike. So this was a spike I was talking about. I was at a loss of 10,000 here. I was at a profit of 12,000 here. Just a one minute candle. In the the charts are looking good to me while there has been a fall off late. But usually in this trend, I've seen indecent go up for three, four days. That too, at times it gives four, five percent kind of up moves. So I've taken a bit of risk here. If it opens up only, then I'll maybe increase one lot here. This is one lot. SBI, I took a trade on the up move, a profit of 8100. For absolutely no reason, from top, there is a likely fall at stock level anywhere between five to 25 percent, maybe more. In dice level, about five to 10 percent. This will be just healthy profit booking. There may be some stocks, some sectors which will run up because of the announcements in the budget. Everyone is going for this top and everyone will try to time it. Everyone will try to sell at the same time. I have seen this phenomena multiple times. That is why I've been exiting ahead of the peak probably. I have no interest in conquering the peak here. I just want to preserve my cash and make money. So do consider your positions when you want to kind of book your profits. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.